Is shooting a cat a hate crime? It's a different race, so would it be a hate crime? I mean, I- well, they're shooting a political figure, so I feel like that would be a hate crime, even if they're a cat. Don't know why I think a cat would make- would make it more of a hate crime, that's kinda racist, my bad. Right, there they are. Took you long enough getting out here. Shut up, Norman. Say, can I ask what the deal with the place was? Were you scared, Norman? Little, little, little putty cat? Little, little meow meow? Little, 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 I'm a bit. I was not. Don't be afraid of your feelings, Norm. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh please f my ass on Discord, Norm. I want free Discord Nitro. I don't have feelings. I am a, I am an automaton. What I meant was the inside of that place looked like some sort of spook house, but out front, the sign says cinema. Cinnamon D's nuts in your mouth. Haha, <laughs> I am so fucking funny. What sense does that make? Oh, it used to be a cinema. Got converted a week la after last Valentine's Day. Thanks to yours truly. And yet, the old sign's still up a year later? I, I don't know. I guess they've just been busy, Norm. Don't have time for everything. Uh huh? Sure. Hey, for I forget. Thanks for backing me up in there when I told Fezzy about that plan I had and he threw a fuss. No problemo. Been a long time since I felt any sympathy from another hum- I'm not a human. Yeah, I don't know, Norm. I think Oliver feels plenty of sympathy for you, man. You know what? I'm gonna go along. Don't mention it. Justice will be served tonight at our hands! You know, Greeny, I reckon I'm almost beginning to like you. Yes, I'm gaining your trust and I'm gonna convince you. Hey, hey, I said almost. <laughs> oh, winky face. How tarnation did you think even wink without... Okay, and just like that, all admiration I just build up for you has just slid down the slide of shame. Now then. Yep. I think we gotta get better get moving before anything or any one undesirable shows up. Yeah, like like uh, Jesse and Mr. White. Relax. I know this how this game works pretty well by now, Norm. This old song and dance. I've sung it it's the same old song. Game? You're standing in the middle of where I'm looking right now. Right? Because you're looking straight at me. That makes sense. I ain't following where you're going with this. I mean, there's no space for a three-way dialogue scene. You know, because you'd have to stand closer to the left or right of the side of the screen! There's no room for three people! To make space for the other character talking to us, that is. And since you can't, huh? As long as you don't move relative to where I'm looking, we're safe. That has to be the daft is most backwards. It'll work, just watch! See, nothing's happening. See, I told you. Huh. Ah, shit. You looked! <laughs> Fuck, the screen can slide across backgrounds now? God damn it. All right, God invented the mechanics for Bigfoot's romance route. Yeah, I forgot. What does any of that travel even mean? It Wait, what was, what was your voice again? Okay, you were Jesse, yes. Well, 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 what do we have here, Mr. White? Je Jesse, hey! You said that I could say the line. Then I could kiss you afterwards. Yeah, you- Yeah, and you said you were able to speedwalk fast enough for us to spring an ambush, not arrive after they've already left the spook shack, yo. We're lucky they loitered around for so long like a total morons. Or do you have to be up shit creek without a paddle, yo? We, we, can, we can both hear you, you know. Hear what now? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Yeah, fallen right into our trap, just as we planned, yo. By allowing yours to show yourselves first, we expertly... Uh... Uh... Uh, he's, he's got a gun, you know. That's right, bozos. I'm holding a gun, bitch. And I have a knife in my... Oh, and I have a knife in my hand, just in case he misses, which is, of course, incredibly unlikely. Jesse! The word in the street is that your crime name is Misso McGee. M -m miss They think you have bullets now, bro! Now this... I can work with this. This makes us powerful! Hang on, Fep. Who in tarnation are these two rattlesnakes? And why do they look like they are about to maim themselves with their own weapons? Uh, this is, um... I'm sorry, I forgot. Did you guys ever reveal, like, your actual names and not just... 
Or are you just unnamed subway mugger and unnamed head gun headed asshole? We're the infamous crime duo, Stabby and Shooty, aka Jesse and Mr. White. Yo. Yeah! We're partners in crime, so that means you're out of time! Ha ha ha! Uh, so, how long did it take you to come up with that? How long? Uh, bro, bro, I plagiarized that from greeting cards to websites. What do I tell them? I, what do I tell them in your walls? Just act natural, bro. Uh, so, uh, we're, we're weathering a havoc. Well, some, some weather we're having, huh? Um, mm -hmm, I'm very intimidated right now. Ah, shit. Hang, uh, hang on, hang on. Well, which one of one one of y'all is shooting and which one of y'all is stabby? That's obvious, bozo. Yeah, any old schmuck could figure it out. Right, except one of you is holding a gun, but has a knife head, and the other one is holding a gun head. One of y'all has a gun head, but is holding a knife. So the naming convention can honestly go either way. Ah, sh shit, he's... He's got us by the balls. Do... do do we ever actually know? Uh, 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 of course we know our sound stinking names. Then which of y'all's which? Uh, I'm Stabby. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain of that. 100% aru. So you're certain that if I pull out your ID card out of your pocket and check your name, it'll it'll 100% say Stabby and not Shooty. It it it's a 50/50, bro. Pull out your ID. I like gambling. You think I got an ID? Little Billy buys booze off of me. He's got the real fake ID. It's true. I've seen it. It's very convincing. Shit! They, they can hear us! You're talking aloud, right as I've pointed out already. Shit. I say we just run. No, bro. We need the money. Think of Barbados, bro. Or Bartabos. Bro, think of Bar Bartabos, Bar Barbados. Yes, Barbados. You're right, bro. Honeymoon again. We're Stabby and Shooty, the inseparable crime time duo, and you're out. You know, I've never once seen you two together. Not once. Shit, eggs got us there. Our old story's falling apart. What do we do now, Jesse? Oh, for the love of... Alright, alright, partners. Let's cut the horse crud. Why are you hassling us like a couple of starving ticks? Yeah, neither of us are bank clerks and we have no change for you. So, like, scram, we got shit to do. We got eggs to see. Hey, now. Bank robberies and subway mungans were out. We're our old gigs. Things are different now. Yeah, bozos. A new day's dawning on this er town. Things are different now. Say, what, what? what's with the accent? Are they actually from Brooklyn or just doing something wrong with them? Oh, wait, no. Uh, Brooklyn accents? I can't really do a Brooklyn accent, so I'll just stick with Jesse and Mr. White. Uh, oh, the other. or One or the other. Both? Probably both. Well, the only thing wrong with us is that we won't be able to count all of the moolah we'll make once we haul you two back to the mayor, bro! Say, say, say what now? Yeah, bozos. We're her elite enforcers. Get ready to fucking give me your foreskin, baby. Finally, the other side of the law and the poverty line. There's the urge bounty on your heads and she's handpicked us to, to, to bring you straight to her. Yeah, dead or alive. We'd prefer alive because frankly, bodies are actually super heavy. Yeah. And we're sort of sore from carrying huge bags of moolah from our weekend job. Man, crime just doesn't pay enough to cover bills, the bills anymore. <laughs> Shit, guys, congrats on your promotion. I, like, actually, good job. You know, going from mo like a mafia crowd that literally has accomplished nothing to like actually doing, yeah, good job. All uh, right, thanks. Thanks for the appreciation. Features like you make this all make this all the worthwhile, you know. Fat, don't encourage him. I can't help it. I'm just a kindly goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ju just cause you guys are wanted criminals doesn't mean you gotta be rude. Nothing personal, Greeny. But yeah, we're gonna tie you both up and call Mayor Mingus to collect us up in her sports car. She has a fucking sports car. Yeah, we're going for a ride. <laughs> wait, wait, she's collecting us? But you, you just said you're bringing us to her. Yeah, she doesn't actually... Yeah, she doesn't actually trust us to guide you all the way back through Uptown. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of understandable. Yeah, she said you just skedaddle once our backs are turned and easily, and easily lose us. Bro, and then what was the whole thing about bodies being heavy and if y'all wouldn't even have to drag them back to down all yourself? Like, yeah, I read that, right? Well, she'd make us drag you both into her trunk if you's kicked the bucket right now. And like I said, bodies are really heavy. F f I'm really starting to worry that I'm gonna accidentally grievously harm these fellas. So what's just stopping us from leaving from the spot before this the you know the mayor arrives? What's what's stopping us? That'd be us. That'd be us, bozo. <laughs> uh no oh, good. Come on, Norm, let's go. Ah! I wouldn't make any quick moves if I was you. You see, I'm holding a gun, and my partner here is holding a knife, so I well, you see, partners, I also happen to have a pistol of my own, Hollister. Holstered, yeah. So, if it's a duel you want... Shit, he's got a real gun with, like, bullets and junk. We gotta go, bro. I'm out. Gun beats knife. It's a classic rock, paper, scissors rule. It's, it's classic rock, paper, scissors rules. Well, I have a gun, too. So, by rock, paper, scissors rules, we draw. Actually, I've already drawn. Ten paces, then we shoot. Norm, I wouldn't bother. His gun totally isn't loaded. Hey, shut up, you! Y y you sure, Fep? Yup, I'm like 90% sure. I'm, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him to try to stick us up with an unloaded pistol, but that's quite the ballsy assumption to make. Norm, he tried to exact... Norm, he tried this exact trick on me with my buddy Randy before. Call his bluff, man. He's just a human roach. Who are you calling a human roach, huh? Huh? He's my gay lover, Jesse! I, I mean the other one, but... Uh, you, you see, I don't get what what it is that you are. Are you brothers, cousins, lovers? Probably lovers. Just co-workers? Enemies to lovers? You call each other bro, but I don't get your vibe. We're, we're beyond your understanding, bozo. Yeah, and you shouldn't be afraid of the un- You should be afraid of the unknown, little punk bitch! Well, I, I, if I don't understand the danger of something, why would I fear it? Shit! Eggs got us the- Shit, Eggs got us there! We gotta get out of here, I, I mean, uh, can it? Bitch! If you're so furious, why don't you just shoot I'm your walls then, huh? Teach I'm in your walls a lesson. Go ahead and do it, bitch! Uh, cuz, uh, Mayor Mingus said she wants you to, uh, capture it alive? Bullshit. You said a moment ago that she wants us dead or alive. Sh shit bro, I totally said that. Fuck! I, I told you, bro! The dead or alive shtick only works if they assume that you actually have a way to ice them. Ah, fuck, ah, shit, Mr. White. We really screwed up this pooch on this one. We gotta get out of this blows. Fep, I'm really starting to worry that I'm gonna kill at least one of these two varmints. Uh, it's okay. Remember, Norm, human roaches. We can leave them be. Just let's go. Let them scuttle under Mingus's metaphorical fridge as the equally metaphorical bulb lights up. Let's just go on our merry way. We spent plenty of time with these two clowns. Sh ah, shit, bro. They're gonna walk away from us. That's the opposite of what we want. Yes, hey. Ah, shit, bro. Shit. Rush him up with your knife. This thing can barely cut butter, bro! What do you want me to do? Poke at this paper bag and hope I jab an eye on the other side? He'd shoot me for that! Without hesitation. Why don't you rush him with your knife head? Huh? Tough guy? No way, bro. Are you kidding me? That guy has a freaking gun. I ain't doing that. So, so, so do you, bro. D don't you load it, do ya? D you load it with a pistol, don't you? Hey, your gun's head too, bozo. I don't see you loading your noggin with bullets. I told ya. 
I'm afraid to open it up and it'll get dust in my head. It'll feel weird. It'll feel like little, little, little bits of me are floating away. I'll dissipate, bro. I don't want that dusty barrel s- Bet I now fear that I'm gonna murder these two mutant mutton heads in a mighty mess man- mighty messy manner. Uh, okay, now that we've thoroughly established your, uh... Lack of everything. Yeah, we're just gonna you skedaddle. We're gonna go. Can, can, can you two rough yourselves up a little and tell the mayor we really fought you hard if either of you happen to run into her? Not a, ch not a chance. C -c Come on! If you don't, she'll rough us up! Please! Ah, boy, do I envy her that pleasure. I... Come on, Fep. Those eggs, those eggs of yours ain't gonna take a gander of themselves. That was, uh... That was something. What do you mean they escaped? I didn't even ask you to bring them to me. You just had to hold them there. The idea of doing an alley ambush was so that you could stand with your backs in the alley entrance so they so they couldn't do the old differ and dash. There was nothing we could have done, Mayor. That cowboy fella had a gun. You have a gun. You both have guns. Yeah, and when we asked you for bullets, you said no. Me making the shrewd decision not giving you two idiots bullets was the sole reason you both managed to make it back alive at all. See, this is why you should have, have sent yours truly. My... My ostentatious had it alley. What the fuck does that mean? For you see, I've got my trusty lever action bully to that day. Far more rel reliable than a pea shooter or equivalently as hated I had it as I. F friend, friend is carrying in his host ho holster, I dare say. My my eyes need water. Why is it always hats with them? Right, except. I wanted this to be a discreet operation, Theoror. Blowing a cryptid-sized hole in the spook house wall with a barrage of rifle pot shots is hardly inconspicuous. I should have you should have sent me instead. I would have been like, yay. I'd have stumped them with a mind-boggling bog riddle till you arrived. Seat warmers don't speak. Uh, to tell you the truth, Miss Crown, I. I don't know if we're exactly cut out for this enforcing stuff. You're right, you absolutely aren't. You're both fired, get out! Uh, ah, shit, bro. They, they've, there goes our paycheck. What? Well, uh, if you need us, we'll be cooking meth. I won't. Well, well, we'll be on our, uh, lying in the gutter and addicted to town- and add into the town's filth with our own. Good. Do not let me catch either of you near here again! Jesse. Jeez, it's always exile with you, isn't it? Incompetent goons are- be damned my plans! Incompetent goons be damned! My plans will just have to adapt! Theoror, I'm- in, I am correct in my be belief that Bigfoot has been securely placed behind bars? Correct, madam. He is safe and sound in captivity, ready to be studied extensively. Yes, yes, and who's monitoring his enclosure at the zoo at this current moment? Fuck! Did you perchance wish for me to ask my gift shop cashier to observe the- Oh, for the love of God! Hmm? You love me? Go watch the Ape Man Theoror and stay there. The last thing we need is a containment breach within a containment breach. Ah, but think of the research possibilities, your highness. Why, if we were to gain the opportunity to observe Bigfoot in an uncontrolled environment? Yes. And then think about my chance of re-election. May I remind you that I actually need to receive votes to get re-elected? So what if you lose the love? So what if you lose the love of the great unwashed? Don't you always rig the elections anyways? Fuck you, child! That's exactly my point, you half pin half wit! If nobody votes for me and I still get in the office regardless, the dull masses will finally figure out that our ballot boxes are merely Poorly disguised swans. I am ballot box, not swan. Then the ballots would get investigated by the commission. The, the com yeah, the commissions? Commission, yes. And they discovered that I'd hired you to create a crude crayon forgeries of the shredded ballots. I'd have to pay a lot of plebs to make a catastrophe like that disappear. Ha, you said catastrophe. 
I have killed you before, you know. I have killed before, you know. Ugh. Okay, just go, Theoror, and make haste. I'll make fish paste. Oh, and take those nasty eggs with you, lest their mucus binds them to the table and they become a permanent fixture in the room. Superb. Onward and upward, then. Farewell, my friends. Wonderful. And with that, I've half the number of Cretans left in the room. Do, a do Abel next. Oh, speaking of Abel. No, please! I have a family! You left the sticky note that I gave you at the site of the green one's nest upon collecting trained filthy shelled offspring, correct? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I did, sure. Excellent. That's the rest of the plants in the motion, then. The sticky note makes up for the rest of your scheme, huh? Must be one hell of a note. Oh, oh, oh yes. Think, I think they'll find the note compelling, to say the least. After all, the note says that they, if they don't instantly surrender... What? That they don't instantly surrender themselves to me. Okay, that's what that said. That I'll be dining on the green omelets and... Wait, you're actually gonna eat the... Why would you actually eat... The, wait, hold on. That's one of them, uh... Really thingies... Reality thingies again. Ah, a plot hole. Nasty fellers. You know, I'm actually not gaslight you for once. I'ma hear you out. What are you blathering on about now, you disheveled mongrel? Y you see, that no makes no sense because you lack the supreme depravity needed to scarf down the immense feared and cautiously revered nuclear omelette. Sides, you just gave the eggs to Theoror. That isn't a plot hold, my daft canine screen employer. I simply lied about planning to eat the whatever you called those, the wretched dish in order to ensure the green one complies with my order to surrender. My god! That's devious! Thank you. I, I am. That wasn't a compliment! You just, ma you just made me use my own name in vain! Now, I can sit back, pour myself a nice goblet of milk, and... Yeah, nah. nah. Excuse me? Lemayo, you forgot the plan for the cowboy decides not to bother accompanying that green bozo into the funfair itself. Why would that be an issue? They'd simply reunite once the green one finds the note and the plan would continue as normal from that point. Uh-huh. And which one of the twos were you banking on reading the note? The green bozo's illiterate. W well, I'm sure our egg-laying friend will simply bring the note back to Norm for him to read in that case, surely. Ten dollars say the green schmuck will just mistake the sticky note for a slice of cheese and devour it instantly. No, 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 not... Even egg would- oh, fuck. What- what color's the paper? Ah, shit. Oh, for the love of- it's truly ceaseless, isn't it? Abel, you, you- Nope, you swore that I wouldn't have to go back out. Are you kidding? Fine. Back to plan A, then. Billy, just track them down, tie them up, and drag them here back to- yeah. Gaze, then. Just leave it to me, puss puss. Do not. You're actually a, in luck. Because trying people up happens to be a talent of mine, you know? Yes, yes, I've seen your school report card. You're scary, you're a scary, scary child. I'd honestly delete you from time by cock blocking your parents before they could conceive you. If it weren't, if I weren't afraid that you simply pop up somewhere else later in the timeline and jump scare me when I least expect it. You should be afraid of me, mutt. I've got powerful friends, you know. Colossal, Billy. Yeah, I very much already am. Be less demonic, please and thank you. Alright, go now, my impertinent scamp. Wreak literal havoc. But remember this. If you fail, there will be consequences. Honestly, I'm kind of scared a little, Billy. Kind of not really. I'd punt him across the room given the chance. Anyways, that's this for this this session, this episode. This episode of Dial Town. Episode 48, I think. I, th I don't know. I forgot to check. But anyways, next time we'll go see the slice of cheese left by Mayor Mingus and then slap it on a baby. That's what you do with cheese. Honestly, I kind of want to do that. I feel like they would either cry or just laugh.
you know, babies are interesting creatures. Anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. Tell me which part you liked. And if you just just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already coming back for Dial Town, just please. I need that 100 subscriber fucking link. I need it more than anything else. Not really. I'm just, I, I just need something in my life. Which actually, no, that just kind of counter acted the statement I just made. Oh, we'll just ignore that. But anyways, until next time, see ya.